Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I have a super cool one for you guys. This is gonna be a two-part series. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Alumu A15 Urban Tech Magnetic Phone Case for the iPhone 14 Pro, as well as their G05 Magnetic Phone Stand with Box Cutter. So this is a super unique case and kickstand combo, which we are reviewing. Now the two-part series is because they're also sending us a MagSafe battery pack to stick on the back of this case or any MagSafe compatible phone. So that will be coming in the next video. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to stick around and stay tuned for that. But for now, let's open up the case and see what makes these so unique. All right, so first let's go ahead and open up the case here. So I'm gonna get Senior Stabby out here and just slice right through it. There we go, we'll pop that right open and there is the case itself. But taking a quick look around the box, there's not a whole lot to see here, but it is a very nice box. It's not just a generic box. They really put some thought and effort into this one. So let's pull the case right out. There it is. Let's make sure there's nothing else under here. Nope, there's not. So we can set this off to the side. And here is the case itself. Look at that design. So you can see they have put their own custom print on this. Looks like some of it is behind the plastic, some of it's above it. Looks really unique. This is something you don't see every day. And on the inside, you can see that extra ring for MagSafe compatibility right there. And looking around the inside, so let's talk about the feel of the case first off. Uh, this is a slightly softer plastic on the side here, but it's still very rigid. Back is a hard plastic. Let's go ahead, grab the iPhone 14 Pro in deep purple, and let's stick it into this case and see how it does. Snapping it right in, and there it is. The deep purple iPhone 14 Pro in the Alumu A15 case right here. Looking very nice, very unique too. This is not a look that you see very often, but it does look really futuristic, kind of sci-fi-ish. And you know, something I just realized, this coil here is obviously supposed to look like a magnetic wireless charger, but if you run your finger over it, you can actually feel a little bit of the texture. That's really cool. Let's talk about the functionality of the case now. So resivity on the camera looks perfect. No issues there. The port cutouts on the bottom are absolutely perfect. Side button, power button is covered. These are also covered except for the mute switch. So you have easy access to that. Let's test out the button feel because that's almost more important than anything because you're gonna be interacting with those all the time. It is a little bit stiffer than usual, uh, but I think that will probably wear in. They feel great. They're easy to find uh, when you're just rubbing your fingers over them. So that is good to see, no issues there at all. But now let's go ahead and crack this open right here and see how the stand works. So this is the G05 stand. Of course, links to all these will be down below. Let's go ahead, slice this open and see what we've got. So that is kind of weird, it says open. Okay, so it's a box inside of a box, nothing else in this box. And here we go, look at this packaging. That is cool. There is the back, tells you kind of how to use it. 360 degree, prop up horizontally, hidden box cutter, and that's how you get to it. And it says that it is a ceramic knife, so we will take a look and see. Here it is, very cool packaging. So here are some extra uh, magnetic rings. So in case your phone does not have uh, MagSafe for some reason, you can use these to use this kickstand if you wanted to. So that is nice to see that that's an option because some manufacturers just don't include these. They just leave you guys out. Lumu wants to uh, work with pretty much every phone. So here it is. Look at this. This is hard metal. So super cold to the touch. Feels It's got some weight to it. Feels very premium. Right here, you can see they've even branded the inside of this. The attention to detail is insane here. Very nice. So here's the knife right down here. You can see a couple little vents. I don't know if they're actually functional. They probably are uh, to let some heat out. You can see this kind of ratchets into place. They're notched. So that's very cool. Let's go ahead and try out that knife and just see. It looks like it comes out right here. Yep, there it is. That is pretty cool. Definitely handy to have. Uh, just a quick little box cutter knife if you're cutting something. Let me see, do I have anything to test it on? Yes, so we can test it on this plastic on its own packaging. So let's see if it works. We'll cut it like this and that sliced right through it. Look at that. All right, watch this. Super sharp knife. That is incredibly sharp. It's very short though. That is one thing that you do have to uh, keep in mind, but I don't think you'd be using it that much, but it's nice to have if you do need it. This of course swivels out like that. So yeah, this is very unique. So I want to spend a little bit of time on it. Usually I don't spend that much time on kickstands, but this one is the most unique one that we have ever seen. You can see here, I mean, look at this. It's almost like a fidget toy. This is super satisfying. But anyways, it can be used to prop up your phone vertically like this, or you can twist it to be horizontal, which is awesome. Now at 360 degree field of motion allows you to pretty much get every angle that you want very easily. And it snaps right back down here and you're good to go. 
So you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, how comfortable is it to have this metal piece on the back of your phone when you're trying to hold it? Honestly, it doesn't seem to interfere with anything because look at how low profile this is. I don't know if that's coming through on camera, but it's almost the same level as the camera cutout. When you set it down, it's actually pretty flush. Now on the sides, that's where the wobble comes in. But other than that, it is pretty flush to the back of the camera. And have you seen anyone else with a case combo that looks like this? I don't think so. The other great thing is you can use this as almost something to hold onto when you are using your phone, which is also really cool. And you can, of course, angle it however you want, swivel it around. It's definitely not the best grip because it can easily slip between your fingers, but it's just something else to hold onto, which is nice. Now let's check and see how strong this is. So, wow, that is really, really on there. Yeah, that's like a 9.5 out of 10 on the magnetic scale, but we have to try it MagSafe itself. So let me get one of those chargers. All right, so we've got a MagSafe charger here. Let's stick it on the back. And there it goes, charging right up without issue. And just to show you guys, charging up right there. Let's check and see how strong this is. Oh, this is super strong here. No issues at all with MagSafe on this case. So what is the verdict on this case combo here? Well, if you buy both of these products together, you do have a very versatile kit here. Uh, you got a great case, seems to have pretty good raisivity. I do have a screen protector on here and you can see it's still raised up. It's got a nice kind of rubberized texture on the sides here. Here's a competitor's case just to show you guys. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna come through on camera. This one is more slick and this one is more smooth, but grippy, like rubbery. I don't know how else to explain it, but I do really like the grip on this case. It feels really good. Now the kickstand, obviously this is very unique. I mean, I've never reviewed another kickstand quite like this one. I really like the fact that you can put it in pretty much any angle you want. It's super satisfying to use. It looks cool and it's functional. It sticks on really well. I don't have any issues with that. The only issue I could say is that when this is on, you can't magnetically charge the phone. That kind of sucks to be honest. Uh, but I guess it makes up with it by having a little knife. Now, like I said, we are going to be reviewing their battery pack very soon. Once we get that in studio here, that will be next up. So definitely stay tuned to the channel, subscribe. We will show you guys that one very soon. If you like the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.